John Catlin of the USA, the man who shot the Asian Tour's first ever 59 last time out, will long remember round three of the Saudi Open. We'll get to Catlin in a moment, but it was a day when there was a lot of good golf played. Chris Broberg, an eagle two at the last for a 67 and eight under par. Panapol Patayarat had a 66. This was one of six birdies on his back nine at the 15th, and he's on nine under. Four players are on ten under par. Now Tong Lee didn't have a great day, at least he consoled himself with a birdie at the last. But a 70 for 10 under for the Chinese. Same score for Wade Ormsby. This was certainly one of his shots of the day. At the 14th, looked as if he might drop a shot. Instead, he knocked it straight in for birdie. Alongside him and 10 under is his fellow Aussie, Scott Hend, the 50-year-old holding this putt at the 11th. Everyone was looking for David Puge, the leader of the Asian Tour Order of Merit, to make a big move today. It didn't really happen. Good shot here at 13, certainly, from the Spaniard, but he could do no better than a 69, and he's one of those four players at 10 under par, tied for third. Kiradek Api Barnrat is second on his own at 11 under. Didn't have a good start the tie. He was two over after seven, but then came back brilliantly. This was an eagle at the 12th, and a 67 leaves him in second place. But there was no catching John Catlin. What a performance it was by the American. Nine birdies, no bogeys on the card. In fact, he hasn't had a bogey all week. That was at the eighth, and then he finished with birdies at 17 and 18. This at the par three penultimate hole. Oh. Followed by yet another birdie by the smiling American at the last. It couldn't get any better. Nine birdies, he hasn't had a bogey in three rounds. And at 19 under par, he leads by eight going into the final round. <laughs>